If the piece is about anything, it's about why human beings are so violent and uncompassionate to one another and um, what can be done about it. That's all the piece was ever about, it's just uh, my thoughts on those issues. I mean, I don't fully agree with the concept of the war. You know, to me, it's more a catalogue of complaints and uh, uh, I don't want to blame everything in my life on everyone else in my life, not to myself. I think it's too complaining myself. Well, The Wall has been called one of the most successful and most imaginative rock albums of the, the whole rock era, you know, the 60s, 70s and 80s, because it did combine not just a concept uh, in terms of music and songs and lyrics, but also a visual concept as well. It lent itself to a much bigger, more experimental um, project. So The Wall kind of grew and grew, really, uh, became a big monster out of control. <laughs> the whole Wall experience um, does have to be viewed as a whole album movie, stage show, but without doubt, if you want to take one of those in isolation, it has to be the stage show, it has to be. I still think it's the most ambitious thing anyone's ever staged. When I think back, I think, wow, that was quite a big show. And I, I'm, it's very impressive that Roger could actually put that sort of thing together, technically, to make it work, building the wall and knocking it down and making it all work, you know, it was, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. It was a very big undertaking and it was very, very well done. I mean, it was done to a very high standard, elegant, powerfully affecting, but hugely negative in its content. I mean, that has to be said that, you know, if you look at the lyrics, if you read the subtext of what's going on, you just go out and slash your wrists. There is some wonderful stuff on the album. I mean, I think there is some optimism and stuff inherent because that's one of the wonderful things about music is that you can have a rather doom-laden lyric on top of an uplifting piece of music and it juxtaposes it and it gives you a feeling of uplift about it. I think the film definitely got too black and bleak. The subject matter for the wall is downbeat, but uh, who says that everything that we view uh, has to be uplifting and light? The wall asks many questions, and many of these questions need answers. It's a piece for everybody who's ever been hurt by anybody else or anybody who's ever hurt anybody else, because the world is getting smaller and smaller day by day. And the time has come to start thinking more about how we can communicate and cooperate with one another in order to make everybody's life more palatable.